Hi students, hope everyone is fine and safe. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to my new video. And today's video is about another interesting topic in unit 3. We are going to see carry, save, addition of summons. Right? So, before this we have seen different multipliers. Right? We have seen signed multiplier, unsigned multiplier and we have seen both algorithm. We have seen bit pair coding. Right? And this is another fast multiplication that is carry, save, addition of summons. Okay? Right. So, in fast multiplication, we have already seen bit pair recoding. This is another fast multiplication which is carry, save, addition of summons. Right. So, before going to the logic, you got to know some basic points about carry, save, addition. Right. So, in carry, save, addition, right, it performs multiplication a little faster. That's because it performs, that is, it creates sums and carry, it generates sum and carry parallelly. Okay. That is the main reason why it performs faster. Right. And this is a digital adder. Even though it is used in multiplier, it is a digital adder. Right. But most probably it is used in binary multiplier. Right. And it can be used to add more than three or more binary numbers. Okay. And the main important thing is it will also reduce the summon, summon operation like bit bar coding. Okay. And very important point here is like as I said, it reduces the summons by factor 2. That is the bit pair coding reduces the summons by factor 2. Right here, the summons are reduced. Most probably, the delay is reduced in carry save addition. Right? And the delay is reduced. That's because it generates carry and sum parallelly. Okay? And the final product, the final step in carry save addition is you have, you use carry look ahead adder. Okay? Right, and we will see the carry save addition summons and we have already seen various adders, right? That is ripple carry adder and carry look ahead adder as a fast adder, right? And this is carry save adder, right? First, what is the drawback of ripple carry adder? We know that in ripple carry adder, the carry propagates from LSB to MSB, right? And for that, it will take more time. The delay will be very high. Right, and that is the main drawback of ripple carry adder. To overcome that, what we have done is we go for carry look ahead adder. In carry look ahead adder, what we are doing is we will generate sum and carry parallelly so that it will work faster when compared to ripple carry adder. And it is also called as fast adder. Correct? Right. What is the drawback of carry look ahead adder? The carry look ahead adder drawback is it is costlier and it is a complex hardware. Okay, and we will see what. What is the operation of carry save addition? Okay. And carry save addition, like as I said, it is used in multiplication. In normal multiplication, you know that, right? If you're going to multiply these numbers, if you're going to multiply these numbers, what you'll get? You'll get these numbers, correct? Right? Like that, you'll get, right? And you have to add everything, correct? These are called partial products, right? These are called partial products. And if I'm going to implement this multiplier using ripple carry adder, Right, so this will be the circuit, right? So this will be the array logic of ripple carry. You can see that the carry will propagate from one adder to the other, right? The one adder to the other, right? And so definitely there will be a lot, there will be a delay, right? And what we are going to do is in ripple, sorry, in carry save adder, I'm just going to modify this circuit that is this carry is given as an input to the second row, right? A second row. Now you can see here, I am just giving this carry a second row. So the first adder, you will not have this input, right? So what I will do is it now it, you can see here the second row it has three inputs. That two inputs is got from this particular full adder, correct? Right? So why I am doing this? I am freeing one input here, one input in the first row, right? And that's because I can parallelly generate sum and carry, right? That is the logic of carry save addition. Okay. Now we'll see how is that it generates sum and carry parallelly. Okay. Right. So this is the logic behind carry save addition. Okay. So in if you look at this, you will not understand, but I'll explain after coming to the after explaining the example. Okay. Right. The first thing is you can see here it is group group the summons in three. And then you have to perform carry save addition so that it, 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 it generates sum and carry. 
and then you have to generate then you have to group sum and carry and it will produce another sum and carry vector like that it, it continues and until you receive two vectors you have to continue this process and the last two vectors is added using carry look ahead adder right don't worry about these steps right i'll just explain this so that you can understand this example 45 into 63 i'm going to perform a normal multiplication okay if it is normal multiplication you know that if it is one you have to write the multiplicand so all the multipliers are one so what i have to do i have to just shift one one position and i have to write the multiplicand as it is right so it is 101 and again 1011 right like that so it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so i'll just shift six positions and i'll write this right and now you have to do normal addition correct so it's one and it's one so it's one plus one is ten so zero and again it's one so one plus one is ten ten plus one is eleven eleven plus one is hundred so it's zero one sorry it's one plus one is ten ten plus one is eleven eleven plus one hundred so zero and 10 is carry, right? So 10 plus 1, 11, 11 plus 1, 100, 100 plus 1, 101. So it's 10, 1, and I'm putting 10 carry here. So 10 plus 1, 11, 11 plus 1, 100, 100 plus 1, 101, and 101 plus 1 is 110. So it's 11 carry, right? So you can see here, 101 plus 1 will be 110. So it's 10, carry 1, so it's 1, it's 110. That is why... It is 0 and 11 carry here. Okay. So 11 plus 1 is 100. 100 plus 1, 101. 101 plus 1, 110. Right. So it's 0 and 11 carry. Right. So 11 plus 1, 100. 100 plus 1, 101. 101 plus 1, 110. So 0 and 11 carry. Right. So 1 plus 11 plus 1, 100. And 100 plus 1, 101. So it's 1 and 10 carry. 10 plus 1, 11. So it's 1 and 1 carry. 1 plus 1 is 10. So this is the product. Okay. Now, you know this, this is the normal multiplication. Correct. Now, what we have to do is we have to do carry. We are, we are seeing about carry, save, addition of summons. Right. So carry, save, addition of summons. What we have to do, the logic is we have to group this summons. Okay. We have to group this summons. A, B, C and D, E, F. Okay, I have to do it parallelly. The computer will do parallelly. Okay, so if it is A B C, if you go into this A B C, that is after after obtaining the summons A B C, if you're going to add with carry save addition of summons, it will generate a sum and carry. Correct, and the sum and carry will be S1 and C1, and similarly this group will produce another sum and carry which is S2 and C2. Correct. Right, and this part is over. Now we have to group this one, the sum and carry, and this one. You have to group into three, right? So S1, C1, and S2, right? And this is the second group. So if you do this, sorry, this third group, and if you could do this, it will also produce another sum and carry, which is S3 and the C3, right? Now C2 is left out. Now you have to group this one, S3 and C3 and C2, and this will generate another sum and carry which is s4 and c4 and you can see there is only two vectors these two vectors will be added using carry look ahead adder right so this is the steps which we have explained here you can see here the summons is grouped into three and then you have to do carry save addition it produces sum and carry similarly you have to group sum and carry and it will also produce sum and carry right you have to perform a carry save addition the same process continues until you have to produce two vectors. And the last two vectors has to be added using carry look ahead adder. Right? The normal addition. Okay? So now we will take the same example. I am taking the same multiplier and same multiplicand. Okay? The same multiplicand, same multiplier. Okay? And understand the concept very clearly so that you can, you can, you can easily write. Okay? Right? So what I am going to do is I am going to do carry save addition. As I said, I'm going to group this three and these three separately. Okay. The first one, what do you have to do? This one, right? One, I have to multiply. So what I'll get, I'll get the same number. One, zero, one, one, zero, one. Correct? This one is over. Right? And second one, one, zero, one, one, zero, one. Right? And the third one, C. It is one, 
zero one one zero one. Correct. Now you know that this is A B C. Now you have to do carry save addition. Sir, what is carry save addition? Listen very carefully. Right. So you can see here. So this is one. Right. So it's one. Right. And there is no carry. So zero. So usually you will carry the zero here at the top. Right. Here you have to write the carry zero bottom. Okay. Now it's one. So there is no carry zero. And here it's one. No carry. And here it's one plus one is ten. So zero and one carry. And here it's one plus one ten. So zero and one carry. Here it's one plus one is ten. So zero and one carry. Right. And here it's one plus one is ten. So zero and one carry. Right. And here it's one. So no carry. Right. And so it's one. No carry here. You got it. Right. Now this is sum S one and C one. You got it. Right. Now you understand how we got S one and C one. Right. Right. You can cross verify this one. You can see here S one. One one four zero double one. You can see one one four zero double one. And C one double zero four one zero. Right. C one. We got it exactly. Correct. So this is the first part. A B C is over. Now we have to do D E F. Right. So this is D E F. Once again the same. You have to write the multiplication three times. Correct. Because it is one 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 again. Right. But make it very sure. Now this is the C value. Correct. This is where you have started. Right. So you can see A B C. And if it is D, you start from here. Correct. So you have to start exactly from there. Right. If you mischange the bit position, then you will not get the correct answer. Okay. So you got to start the D here. So it's one zero one one zero one. Correct. And it's one zero one and it's one zero one. Right. And it's one zero one one zero one. Got it. Right. What you have to do now? This is D, E, and F. Got it. Now what you have to do? You have to do carry save addition. How will I do that? So it is one. So it's one. No carry. And it's here. It's one and no carry. All right. Here it's ten. So zero and one carry. Here it is ten. So zero and one carry. And again it is ten. So zero one carry. And again it is ten. So zero one carry. Here it is one. No carry. And here it is one. No carry. Correct. Now this is S two and C two. Got it. Now as I said, what I said here, I have to do A B C, so I'll obtain S one C one, and I have to do D E F, I'll get C two as S two and C two. You can see here, I obtained S one C one using A B C, and similarly by using D E F, I obtained S two and C two. Right? You can cross verify this using here. Right? One one four zero double one. You can see one one four zero double one S two. And C two double zero four one double zero correct that is S two correct clear so far right and then what you have to do you have to do the next cycle the next cycle is this one right now C one S one and S two correct this one correct you have to do this one S one C one and S two right now listen very carefully what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear all this so that you you understand. How we obtain S1 and C1 and S2 and C2? Correct, right? Now, next step is we have to add S1, C1, and S2, right? So what I'm doing is I'm bringing the S1 here, I'm bringing the S1 here, and I'm bringing the C1 here, correct? And I'm bringing the S2. This is the S2, and I'm bringing the S2 here, right? So I'm grouping S1, C1, and S2. You can see here. You got it, right? Now, now what you can do, you can do, you can understand one thing here. S yes, two, it starts here at the, see here one, two, three at the fourth bit. So similarly, you have to write the fourth bit, right? S yes, two. Don't write it here. Even if you mismatch one bit position, everything will be wrong, right? So you are just bringing this S yes, two here so that I can add. That's all. Okay. The same values has to be done, right? Now you do the what you do, you do. Normal carry save addition, correct? So what is that? It's one, right? It's one and zero, correct? So here it's one and zero, right? So zero and zero. So it's ten. So zero and one carry. So it's ten. So zero and one carry. So it's one. So one no carry, 
right and it's 10 here so it's 0 and 1 carry right and it's 1 here no carry correct and now what you have to do 0 0 and no carry right and it is 1 no carry and it is 1 no carry right and this is s3 and c3 you got it right s3 and c3 right that is this is the one we obtained correct so now what you are doing we are just multiplying s1 c1 and s2 so, so that we obtained S3 and C3. Now, what we have to do? We have to add S3, C3 and C2. Correct? Now, we know that S3 and C3. Now, what I am going to do is I am going to bring this C2. Where is C2? This is C2. Right? I am bringing this C2 here. You can see here. I am bringing this C2 here. Right? So, we already have S3 and C3 and I am bringing it here. Right? Now, once again, what you have to do? You have to do the carry save addition, correct? So, this is the last pair, correct? So, now, what do you do? 1, 0, right? So, it is 1 and 0. And it's 0 and it is 0 here, right? So, 0, no carry, 0. That is 1, 0. So, it's 10. So, 0 and 1 here, right? And it is 1, so no carry. And it is, it is 11. So, it's 1 and 1 carry here. And so it is 1, no carry. And it is 10, so 0 and 1 carry. And here it is 1 and no carry. Correct? Right? And 0 and no carry. Right? You got it? Right? So this is S4 and C4. Right? And if it is S4 and C4, what we have to do? You have only two vectors. Now, what you will do? You have to do the normal addition. Correct? So in the normal addition, the carry lookup here addition. How will you do it? That is 1 plus 1. 1, correct, right, and similarly, one zero is 1, right, and 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 0, 0, and 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 1 plus 1, 10, and it's 1 carry, so it's 1 plus 1, 10, 0, and 1 carry, so 11, 1, and 1 carry here, so that is 1, and it's 1 plus 1, 10, so 0, and 1 carry, it's 1, correct, so this is the final product. If you see this, this product will be the same as this one. Okay. So all you have to do is you have to group into three and produce sum and carry. And once again, group the sum and carry. And you have to continue the process until you obtain two vectors. Okay. And the last two vector has to be added with carry save. Sorry, carry look ahead adder. That is normal addition. Okay. Hope you understand this logic. Correct. So you can see this is the road map. Right. That is A, B, C. First, you have to do carry save addition. So, it produces S1 and C1. And D, E, F, you have to do what? So, it produces C2 and S2. And similarly, now what you have to do? You have to do, you have to do this one. S1, C1 and S2. You can see this is grouped. And it produces C3 and S3. Right? And it is grouped to C2 again. So, that it produces C4 and S4. And C4 and S4, the final addition. Right? The normal addition. Okay, right. So, so today we have seen very important topic that is we have seen what is carry save addition. What is the main logic in it, right? So, the carry save addition normally it generates sum and carry parallelly. So, it reduces the number of operations. Okay, so it performs parallel operations. So, the operation is reduced and also increases the speed of it, right? So, all you have to understand is the grouping is very important. First, you have to group all the summons. And then you have to group the sum and carry step by step, right? And you have to continue the process until you reach the two vectors. And the final two vectors you have to add normally, okay? So, hope you understand the logic, right? Thank you, students. Thank you, students. Thank you for watching. Kandipa in the video, useful. Subscribe, passionate professor, and keep learning. Thank you very much.